Okay, the next type of factoring we look at is called a difference of squares. Now, difference means that you are subtracting. So, it only works if you have a subtracting sign here. Squares mean that you have perfect squares. So, the first thing I do is I check what times what gives me a squared. So, it's a. What times what gives me 16? Okay, where the two what's are the same. So there's 4 times 4 is 16. And I mentally check off that that's a minus sign. Once you've done that, these things are factored very easily. Take what you have put in the circles, a and 4, a and 4, write them down into brackets, and then put in opposite signs. So a plus and a minus opposite signs. Doesn't matter which order you put them in. You could do a minus and a plus, but that's how you would factor it. So if you get a bit more extensive, like you have 16 x squared minus 25 uh, y squared, I, I look at 4 times 4 is 16. x times x gives me the x squared. I check off that that's a minus sign. 5 times 5 is 25. y times y is y squared. So it fits the pattern. Therefore, to factor it, all you do is whatever is in the circle, the incredible two-circle method, you write it down into the brackets in the same order, and then you put in opposite signs. This time I'll put the minus sign here and then the plus sign here. So those signs should be opposite. And that's how you factor a difference of perfect squares. Now, if I give you something like this, 25p squared plus 81, as soon as you see a plus there, you write cannot be factored. Okay. As soon as you see a plus, it cannot be factored. It must be a difference, a subtraction sign in between the perfect squares.